What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more blue lock. Today we are doing episodes 16, 17, 18, and 19. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, check out that Patreon for the full uncut, unedited versions, the full length reactions. Also check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, you guys. Let's hop right into the first one, blue lock, episode 16, Trifusion. No idea what that means. <laughs> So, Baro, yeah, he's kind of a clean guy. <laughs> okay. That's not the visualization I need. But I can always respect someone who takes care of their environment. NPM sharp. Which, I'm the exact opposite of that i'm trying to get better i just respect people who can live such a disciplined life where they wake up at the same time every day go to bed at the same time every day have a meticulous schedule that they always accomplish and complete there are some people who are just instant spontaneity you know never have a schedule never have a plan for anything just live life in the moment i'm more of borrow side it's just so hard for me to be that rigid you know <laughs> That is a good point. For those chemical reactions like Bachiro and Nagi to happen, you need to get to know one another. Alright, episode 16, a tri fusion. Ooh. He's got a warm up physical training routine. I mean, you gotta get them feet right. What are those called? Ladders on the ground, right? Hey, man, that helps on agility, explosiveness, you know? I need to take some tips, take some hints from Borrow. I need to be more like that, dude. Hell yeah. Forget it, donkey. Nagi, I'm not going to call him lazy, but he's always been excelling in everything where he never really needed to work. But now we really need to, to beat those guys. Exactly. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Domestic level genius. Facts. It's all about the money. The marketing, you know. He's making valid points. Yep, because he wasn't able to keep up. Yep. That, that happens for sure. I'm fucking with his mentality. And his uh, words right now. And dedicate his life to it. I like it. A genius making a genius. <laughs> okay. These guys are like, he's the real deal. Nah, I have full faith that when this blue lock thing is over that we're gonna have a star studded player <laughs> i mean i get it i get it it's revenge oh i love the way they visualize his eyes and his hair being all that deep purple that's literally it. He's like, we're playing Overwatch. You're my support. He makes a valid point right there, donkey. Yeah. You're just a different breed. He's like, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> kind of like Bakugo in that sense, you know? The ego is a little too big. You need an ego, but it's a little too big. Alright, Kunigami, what up, buddy? I didn't realize how ripped my guys are. Yeah, you don't want to know how bad we got our ass beat. 
Negati update. I've always wanted to go to a Japanese bath. Like they look so toasty and cozy, and you would not guess. Or <laughs> Chigiri and Rayo. <laughs> We're all here. After what we saw, Nagi, I think anyone on our team would go. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then here's Baro, too. I can't lie, I'd be doing the same thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, I'm a ninja. I'd be doing the same thing, man. For Snickety? Yes, he is. I just now thought of that. Okay, we got the whole squad in here. Rayo is not in the mood right now. Nagi didn't not choose you maliciously. And it's crazy. I get why Rio's taken like that. It's just very interesting. This is going to be a game game. This is going to be a game. Look at all their faces. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> 24 hours until we go. Woo! Thank the Lord I'm watching four episodes today. I wonder if we win. Who would we take? You guys already know because you guys are caught up. But if you didn't know and you just had a random choice between Chigiri, Rayo, and Kunigami, who would you take? Let me know in the comments down below. Chigiri's speed is nice. Rayo is just an all-around adaptable good passing person especially with nagi like their team up would be crazy kunigami kunigami sadly is probably the last person i'll take even though i love him to death just because of his his super powerful shot play style is very similar to borrows i don't want to like duplicate anything so i think i would either choose chigiri or reo but it's hard because i love them all okay that's the one isigi is choosing He's got, what, like, 92 pace or something? <laughs> Mara wants Kunigami. They're all giving their own individual answer. And I... It makes sense for all of them, so... Yeah, if they don't... If our team loses, the other team is definitely taking Nagi. The best player on the team, but also the most cooperative. Like, Baro, I think, might be slightly better, but he's not as not nearly as cooperative. I like that they said Isagi. They're also, you know, everyone's good, you know. I'd agree. Yeah, exactly. Nagi, yep. I knew they would choose Nagi. When you want Rayo, relax. He didn't do it maliciously. Yeah, imagine we win, take one of Chigiri, Rayo, or Kunigami, and then we go against Bachiro and all of them again. That's gonna be wild. Is this is the end of this episode. Oh, thank the Lord, I'm watching three more. Bob cut. Interesting. I love how many different teams we have right now that were all semblances of our main team back in the day, you know? I always fuck with Chigiri, Kunigami, Isagi, Nagi, Bachira. It's gonna take me a little bit to love the other characters, but I fuck with a lot of these people so far. Look at this. Ooh! Kick off. Here we go. Are we starting a game right now? I thought the episode was going to end. Okay, we're starting. I'm here to dethrone you. You stole him from me. 
They know Baro's not gonna pass, so they're gonna like ignore their marks and double team Baro, and he's gonna lose it. And 100%. Yep, and now they're aggressively on offense. Ooh, read the timing when he makes his decision. He read the pass immediately. I like that play from Isugi. It wasn't. It was the Chigiri who's just running down the sideline. Red Panther. <laughs> well, boom, burner's on. <laughs> He's got that crazy pace. That's exactly what Isugi wanted to do with this team. Try fusion title of this episode. That's what good teamwork can do, you know? Individual talent is not enough on a team based game. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, on to the next episode. This one is called Donkey. I love how much he's looking at eyes now, ever since he learned that. I love the way they visualize that. That's so cool. Oh, I love the way they visualize shit. And just like that, gets behind. <laughs> yep, here we go. His left foot strength. God damn it. I know. Naki is in the correct right now. My man Baro needs to start passing it more. At least if we give the ball to Nagi, he's willing to pass back. Baro just won't. Oh, we're disassembling our puzzle to rebuild it again. I love this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like winning this game is a puzzle piece. Or as a puzzle. We have all the pieces. We just need to take it apart again and find the correct way to put it together to where it works. Again, I love the way they visualize shit in this show. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Talk about immediate flexibility in the air. That shit was crisp, bro. I've seen a lot of TikToks of real life soccer football players trying to imitate the moves Nagi does. With like his immediate control off the ball. And it's so cool. The black hole. That's so cool. There's the title of this episode. I mean, I get it. Sticking to your ideals, you know, but... Right? Your potential is crazy, Baro. You just need to be open-minded like Isagi to be able to develop it, you know? Is me. So then why can't you change a little bit, my man? Isugi was insanely frustrated with himself and he, you know. That's the thing, you can't get hung up on him. He's like trying to talk to a wall, essentially, you know. Kick over, pass over to Kunigami. Pass it right back. The volleying is kind of crazy. Kunigami stopped him. I thought he was stopping him so Rayo can get the ball. I didn't think he was going for a header like that. They are ridiculously strong. I would like to see them go against uh, Rin, you know? Time froze. It's not about making the most of his play. What is it about? Oh, 
Now what the hell does that mean? Because Devourer was the name of the couple episodes ago. Okay. Okay, and just like that, they're gonna 2v3 and just dominate. He's gonna devour the role played by Paro. Beg for a pass from me. So we're using Baro as bait to free up to tighten the mark of uh, Kunigami, and then it goes over. So now they can't have the t uh, the double teaming, triple teaming on Nagi. <laughs> no one's even got Isigi marked at all to cut through the darkness. <laughs> Look at that. Shouts out to the team, the duo, Mr. Hasselman and Mr. Adaptability. Give me a direct shot from Isagi. Come on. Give me a clean ass direct shot. I'm telling you, the way they visualize this shit goes crazy. I will devour it. I like how the, the, the darkness that you made on the field, I will devour it and turn it into light. Me. Yeah, you got used like a fucking donkey. That shit was great. That shit was great. Come on, come on. We're essentially 2v3ing right now. We used Baro as a little bit of bait last, but well, come on. That shit is crazy. We're not even gonna try to change you, buddy. You just go in the corner. Go do, go, go do you, man. <laughs> oh my god. Nothing could hurt Baro more. Nothing could dig deeper than that. I actually think if anything is going to make Baro change, it's going to be this humbling right now. I hope I. That was great. And I love how he's digging into him. Like I said, if there's anything going to make him change, you can devour him doing what Isagi's doing. Oh, sorry, hit the mic. But I hope it doesn't become malicious enough, antagonizing enough to where Baro actually just says fuck it i don't care all i want to do is beat isagi now and goes against his own team because that would suck he said i need one goal by myself come on nagi and isagi got one why don't you listen to the common folk every now and then you read it he's he's a fucking Woo! Already in position. Already. Beautiful. And now it's 3 3. Baro did essentially get us that point, but. <laughs> we get to see Chigiri's energy. He's not going to slow down at all or stop on that first touch of the ball. That's super hard to do. It's so easy to lose the ball at that speed when you're just constantly dribbling. I hope everyone's having these moments where they're just evolving and getting crazier and better. And if people genuinely don't think we're going to have a fucking star by the end of Blue Lock, like we're going to have the best soccer player Japan's ever seen. Yes, he did. That's what I'm saying. We're evolving mid-game now. All right, on to the next episode. This one is called The Stage for the Lead. Borrow flashback. Oh, I'm ready. So he's like a young Bakugo. Everyone was like this, making him... His ego was huge from a child, you know? He thought that from a young age. That is a crazy mentality. 
But he, that's a great mentality to have to in the blue lock to be a striker, you know. Yeah. We need it's four to three right now. Oh, Morrow does not care, and he just scores from half court, half field. I don't know, and he missed. That could have been the loss for them right there. He's so desperate right now. Ooh. One step too short. But then the energy of Isagi is right there. He didn't even say that out loud. He could feel the aura, the essence of him, and he did it instinctively. Oh my god! Borrowed his past it! How do you feel being the supporting role now? Oh, I love that. In anime, whenever your your aura is so big that someone just does something instinctively without even don't do that to him, Isiki. <laughs> He's Baro now. You're not the king, man. You're the jester. What is this feeling? It's the feeling on the other side that you've lived your whole life not knowing. Everything is crumbling, shattering. From where Baro started in like episode 4 or 5 till now is insane. Wow, this is the most humbling he's gone through in his entire life, literally. Oh my god. <laughs> I do really enjoy them as a squad too. All the pieces. He's thinking of a plan right now. He's thinking of one. To a dethroned king. Oh my god. Isagi doesn't care. I fuck with Isagi as a main character. He's very uh, compassionate and kind, but if you stop him from accomplishing his goals, he does not care! They are desperate for a plan. Isagi's reading them, you know? Okay, Mr. Force, open. One moment will do. I see it. That frame of a second. And just like that, Shigeru explodes off of Nagi. Nagi cuts forward to intercept? What's he gonna do? Yeah, that's what I would assume. Cut for time, go immediately to the pass. Bro, this dude's a fucking. He's like Light Yagami. I know. He's like Lelouch. Look at. Look at the passion and emotion on Nagi's face. This is like the most we've ever seen him work. He's like, I haven't seen this thing in a minute. What's this ball doing? Let's go, donkey. Strangely. Too damn bright for me. I actually love being in Barrow's head right now. Mm-hmm. A hundred percent. You finally get a perspective change, you know? Ooh, dig through the darkness to find the light. <laughs> He's 
just now learning what teamwork means. This is actually working for Baro? He's developing? I love the way they visualize this. That's just escapism. This is a potential future in which he passes this ball. This is so in-depth and nuanced right now because Baro is going through a mental change that's needed for him, but in this certain situation, I kind of agree with him. He's like, like, this is what the supporting cast feels like. I can totally kick this ball past it, and sure we win by entrusting it to these godlike bright strikers. But in doing so, in the situation I'm in, I get to relieve myself of the impending defeat for the next like day, but my chances of ever progressing past my actual dreams are completely shattered. So it's just escapism is what he's saying, which is completely true. But how do you... And he's thinking of all this in the, the moment, you know? So how, how do we escape? How do we, how do we get past this? It's nothing. He has to score himself. He has to do it. It literally is his ego, his future, himself, his conscious, telling him to not pass it to Isagi. I love the way they animated that with like the red lightning. I don't even know what a chop is, a faint chop? I need to see that like in an actual game so I know what it is. Now that I know defeat, what I need to see is not some legitimate route that entrusts the gold to the lead. He only sees one route, and that's the route for him. Hidden behind the light you're throwing out is my shot. I'll play the villain if you want to be the hero. Oh my god, that shot visually and the actual soccer shot was insane. Welcome back, King. Oh my god. That's the chemical reaction. That's how we make him awaken and, and develop. Is by beating him and shaming him. Junichi. Suwabe, I think, is the voice actor for Baro, Aizawa, Yami, Sukuna, Aomine. One of the best voice actors of all time. That was such a good match. Isugi really brings the best out of everyone. Like, it's not as if he's trying to do that. In certain situations, he is, but... Yeah, he didn't call him Donkey. I never even noticed that. That's some respect right there. The real question is, who are we going to choose, you know? Winner, Team White. Oh my god. Facts. I'm a firm believer that L stands for lesson learned. Yep. It needs to hurt you. Like, it's like Nagi. It's like all of them. They never want to feel this pain again, you know? Unconsciously make excuses. There's some real nuance to competition right here. Dream doping. I, to a certain extent, I do get completely what he's saying. The ghost of a dream. Defeat is the crossroads for your dream. I like the way he said that. That's kind of a oxymoron in and of itself, and I love that. You need the strength to feel your powerlessness. Like, it takes a certain level of strength, understanding, critical thought, self-reflection, to see what you did wrong and to never want to feel like that again. And that takes strength to do that. Like, most people do just innately make excuses. So, ah, this is... I love this. I might, I might take some of this as actual motivation for actual dreams of my own, you know? I'm about to... Hmm. 
Right? How will this defeat change? You. Me, personally, I'm choosing Chigiri. Oh, thank the Lord I got one more episode left. All right, on to the final episode, episode 19. This one is called Dancing Boy. Right, it's not something we can plan for in the future. The unpredictability is the essence of our play. I get that. Someone who can excel and go beyond crazy. I'm choosing Chigiri. That little thing he did last game, he evolved as well. Chigiri. Chigiri, Hyoma. I knew it. I knew it. Welcome to the team, buddy. Don't get me wrong. I love Kunigami. I fuck with Rayo. But I also would choose Shigiri. Damn. Right? Same thing pretty much Bachira said to Isigi when he left. We're not giving up. Keep going. Share this frustration. We gotta keep pushing forward. Yes, he has changed, but that's what this competition does, you know? You need to change, adapt, develop, evolve. That's coming from Mr. Hasselman. Stop. Stop being like a little baby back bitch. We're supposed to be the best. Stop sulking. I was trying to console you. You're right. But come on, motherfucker. That's a bar. Be the one who chooses, not the one waiting to be chosen. Oh my god. Sometimes I'll be playing video games and I feel bad for the people I shit on sometimes, you know? I'm never doing that again. I'm an egoist now. I swear to god. That's exactly it. If our heads drop now, we're done for. You have to keep... Oh my... I get so hyped up watching this show. I just want to fucking work out and fucking... I don't know, man. It's... <laughs> All right. Episode 19, Dancing Boy. Ooh. Bachira flashback? Is this Bachira's mom? She was an artist? Oh. <laughs> he did say to Rin, play with me, and I promise you'll have fun. That would be a match. <laughs> Selfish princess, that is. <laughs> oh. I'm like Borrow. I like to keep my place nice and tidy. <sighs> this is the apps. This is the opposite of what we need. That's hilarious. <laughs> you did call him Donkey probably four times, so. <laughs> I was hyped up too, I can't lie. He's actually asking for advice. It's kind of crazy. Not really advice, but different perspectives, you know. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we tr I tried to talk to you about it, motherfucker. Because I've died once and crawled my way back up. Shouts out to the character development from Baro. Great development. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> this is a rivalry I can get behind now. 
That's the one thing. We got like a four man rivalry. Let's all just make each other better and excel, you know? Ooh, that's the. That's the. Uh, Germany, France. He's the only. Because they brought up like Pele, uh, Ronaldo, Messi, and Noel Noah. Is his name right? Noah Noel. He's the only one who's like fictional for the show, right? He doesn't even know that's number one. It's criminal how good you are, facts. He's just a natural talent. He's like, I'm trying to watch montages. I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to do. Give me some clips, guys. I want to watch some shit. Give me some Ronaldinho. Some I don't know anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> They're working on their control. <laughs> See, this is some good camaraderie right here. Some good banter. Hell yeah. That's a cool transition from the room to the field with Ren and Bachira. What does he mean by that relies on feel? He's like, I'm gonna be a psychiatrist on your ass. I'm gonna dig to the depths of why you do what you do. Okay, Ren, who you feeling like? I don't know, he hasn't played Elden Ring yet. <laughs> That's, that's what being an adult is, sadly. What is she painting? That looks like some shit that could sell for like a billion dollars at a museum. And we always had someone to play with. The monster wouldn't know how to do that, but he's used to playing with himself and the monster, you know. He's not used to the the the, the actual reality of the the level his teammates are at, you know. That's why the blue lock is low-key the best place for Bachira. It's the only place he's gonna find like-minded people. I want to see him in action. If they made him just for this show, I want to see him in action. Yeah, a lot of people do lose that innocence, you know, that voice in their head telling them what to do, telling them to keep pushing, tell you know. I'm glad Bachi were held on to that. Ooh. You've got invited to the blue lock, Sonny. Shouts out, Mom. She's supportive. This is during episode one. That's what he was dreaming of when he woke up during the first, like, test? So he just wakes up, instinctively kicks Igaguri in the face. Damn, does this bring back memories to episode one? That's when he finally got the fire lit under him. Finally got some inspiration. <laughs> That's what he was thinking at this point. And then he saw Isagi not go after the already down person. He wants to go after number one. So that's what made Bachira finally get inspired and say, someone, yeah, someone is like the monster. Damn. So shouts out Isagi, shouts out Blue Lock, shouts out Bachira. The true monster I've been waiting for, longing for, searching for, for so long. And there he is. Damn, bro. I remember watching episode one, I was so shook that he knocked him out. 
It was literally when that happened, I knew this was going to be a different sports show, different sports anime. Shouts out to Bachira's mom narrating that whole thing. We're never going to let Bachira feel lonely like that again. This episode went by in a flash, man. God damn it. And that makes more sense after the flashback, too. Wow. Yeah, how does he read that? He's like, I want to study Rin. Develop him. Know him a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> He's like, what up, buddy? It's been a minute, huh? Oh my god, Chigiri. Isugi, Nagi, Baro, Rin, Bachira. God damn it. Talk about some great, 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 lovely episodes. Starting with number 16, Tri-Fusion. Just showed how a perfectly balanced and well-rounded team Reo, Chigiri, and Kunigami are. Like I said, I fuck with all of them individually. Reo is a little off the deep end because of his personal connection with Nagi, which to a certain extent is understandable. But I just think what Nagi said to combat him was like so perfect. You know, he's Rayo's like, do you forget? Do you not care about me anymore? Do you do you not forget about our dream, our promise, things that this that and the third? And the way Nagi turned out, he's like, no, motherfucker, you forgot about our promise. You gotta stop. You gotta be the chosen, the choosing, the cho the one choosing and not the one waiting to be chosen. And it's oh, that was so perfect. And I love how that also relates to what I think it was Nico, right? Who's still in here. But when we beat Nico and Nico was like crying and all sad, and Isagi was like thriving off the thrill of that joy. And Baro said that's there's there's nothing even comparable to the joy of someone dedicating their life to something and you taking that spotlight from them, showing them they're nothing compared to you. It's it's just crazy. Isagi and calling uh Baro Donkey as well. So gangster. So oh that's, that's that match was insane. Nagi, Isagi, Rayo, Kunigami, Chiga, literally everyone went insane, evolved. I loved it so, 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 so much. Um, I'm so glad Baro was developing not only in his soccer and his football, but also in his maturity and his open mindedness. Like, I really agreed with Isagi in that last episode where he's like, hey, I'm fucking with the character you're becoming. Keep on like this, and ooh, we're gonna make it to the top. Oh, now we're gonna, ooh, I do wanna see the old. Uh, the rest of our team as well. Like I want to see. I saw the. Uh, I was watching all the additional times, and I saw that Raichi, the one, one of the Wanima brothers, and Gagamaru teamed up. I got to see what happened to Kuon, what happened to Iemon, what happened to Imamura, Igaguri. You know, like I want to see everyone else. So also want to see Nico. You know, great episodes though. Loving the show, loving the visuals, animation, voice acting everything the nuance of competition itself the discussion that can be brought from that i'm loving it hopefully you guys are enjoying as well if you are please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section don't forget to subscribe click that bell if you guys have not already um check out that patreon if you guys want the full uncut versions unedited um other than that don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day to squad peace out